women will be able to watch it come through to, towards the shop. There is still two more years of construction, so there's lots more to do. on site uh, back in May and since then we completed the kiosk, interception and bark chamber. This will be followed by the culvert and air treatment chamber construction. Uh, we have also completed our uh, tunnel primary lining uh, drive which was a pipe jacking drive and now we are working our way out with the secondary lining. Today uh, we poured bay number 29, only a couple left to go. Hi, right here we are at Cremont Connection Tunnel where we are carrying on with the secondary lining. We have just finished the last pour in the deaeration chamber and we are ready to go with the connection tunnel which is about 150 meters length. As you can see this is a full round shutter, it is composed by 18 rings and each one has uh, 12 panels and it is allowing us to do pours up to 8 meters. This has been a completely new design in Tideway Central for the secondary lining which has allowed us to remove all the horizontal joints and pull the entire bay in one go. This has also led us into a cost and program optimization while keeping our quality standards. Recently we were really pleased to be awarded the Infrastructure Project of the Year at ED Sustainability Leaders Awards. This award is a result of collaborative work with our Mainworks contractors and our wider supply chain to deliver our core vision of reconnecting Londoners with the River Thames and our core benefits of improved water quality and biodiversity within the river. However, we also realised that we had an opportunity as a major infrastructure project to deliver wider benefits for London and for Londoners. So we developed a legacy strategy and within that strategy, we looked at what environmental, social and economic benefits we could bring. And those benefits included employment of local people, employment of hard to reach group and previously workless people, encouraging the uptake of STEM subjects and careers within STEM and engineering. And also we wanted to look at how we could improve local air quality and safety in London. So we uh, made the commitment to use the river to transport more of our materials and to export our waste. We have tied all of these extra commitments to our financing and to date we have raised 1.7 billion in green finance. We have also assessed these commitments against the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and we are mapping our progress against seven of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. If you would like to learn more about our programme, then please look at our website. Thank you. Bye.